I'm B. Smith. Welcome to B. Smith with Style in Jamaica. Today we go to Jamaica to enjoy the Jamaican Spice Festival. We'll visit with a Jamaican wood carver and sculptor, a tour of the employee owned Walker's Woods Caribbean Food Company, and a Jamaican specialty with Cheryl Lee Ralph. Discover each special moment. Reach out and grab life day by day. Add just a touch of magic. Find your own kind of style. Walk away with a smile. Every day's your own holiday. Celebrate living in all that you do. When you think about Jamaica, you probably think about a tropical island paradise. But Jamaica is really all about people. And I met some wonderful people at the Jamaica Spice Festival at Ocho Rios. On the island of Jamaica, there's a saying, out of many, one people. Today, I'm in Ocho Rios as a special guest at the Jamaica Spice Festival. And we are going to be tasting a great cuisine. And by the way, there are many things going on here today. Arts, crafts, you know I have to do a little shopping. So why don't you follow me? Hello, how are you? I can't wait to taste your food. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, the jerk man. I have some jerk pork, and I'm told that yours is the bread I should have but with it. But you need some hard dough bread, some Chuck's Bakery hard dough bread with your jerk pork. Okay. I'll just cut you a slice of real authentic Jamaican hard dough bread. And then you'll have a complete Jamaican meal. Mmm. It's wonderful. I'll visit you again. Thank you. All right, Andrew. Hello. How are you? How are you? Good. Nice, nice to meet you. Thank you. Before you show me too much, my husband is somewhere here and I want to bring him over, okay? Certainly. Jan! Yes, sweetie. <laughs> you thought you lost me, right? I was trying to crowd. There's so many people here. Hello, welcome. It. How are you doing? So what do you have here today? The Manish water is made from Indian testing. Tribe. We call it tribe. Tribe, right. right. I know tribe. So we have the, the goat's head. The goat's head. And the legs. The legs. They are cleaned. Mm -hmm. They are chopped. The, 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 the tribe is clean mm -hmm. and it's seasoned. What does this do for men? I've, I've heard some tales on the island. Here in Jamaica, it's very popular with our male folk because it is believed that it is very tantalizing and it really enhances the meal. Can I try some? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh oh. I better have a little too. Oh, this is good. Can I take that pop with me? <laughs> <laughs> the content. Okay. The pop. How about <laughs> She's the 1997 Festival Queen, but she's looking more beautiful probably than ever. Thank you so much. Ah, thank you. Now tell me about this dress. Okay, well this is Rose and Company's version of the national dress. Uh -huh. So usually it was a peasant dress, which would be off the shoulder, white, and then it would go down into the normal bandana skirt. Mm -hmm. Oh, and what they've done is you had tears, different layers, a big skirt, the nice public thing, and the beautiful head. I love the headdress. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good day today. Thank you. Right? You, you, do, you do look beautiful. Everything. Yes, I am. Okay, What's not to enjoy in Jamaica? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is Wasi art. It's pottery that's handmade. Yes. We have 20 very talented and gifted artists. It's all fired, so mm -hmm. it's functional. It's so colorful. I think you can put it in your microwave or your dishwasher. Oh, you can. So they're all quality parts. These definitely are going with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> the candy lady. So are you making taffy? What are you making? Yeah. Candy. And peppermint. Yeah. Oh, peppermint candy. Well, you have to be strong to do this. <laughs> How long does it take you to do this? About an hour. About an hour. Ah. So 
what goes in the candy? Peppermint, sugar, lime, butter, and water. Lime, butter, and water. I think I'm going to taste this right here. Mm. This is the freshest peppermint I ever tasted. Mm. Okay. Oh, it's nice and warm. It's beautiful. It is, isn't it? Yes. It's still hot, and so you can twist it into any shape that you want. They call this a walking stick. Thank you, Miss Dorma, the candy lady. Hello. How are you? Good, good. These are beautiful carvings out of fruit. I've never seen watermelon done like that. And these are made out of pumpkin. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's incredible what they're doing with food. They're really playing with food. Food, crafts, music, people. What's not to like about the Jamaica Spice Festival, right? Yeah. <laughs> Coming up, we visit a native Jamaican woodcarver. I'm here in Jamaica's Hyatt Hill District in the parish of St. Mary. I've discovered a local artist here who does these beautiful sculptures. His name is Gilbert Nicely, and I'd like you to admit, this guy is really giving me competition, isn't he? I'd like to introduce you to the artist who did this fabulous chair. Hi, Gilbert. Hi. How are you? Fine. Good to see you. Me too. I love everything that you do. Thank you. It's really beautiful. How did you get started sculpting? I started at a very early age, age of seven. I actually started out painting. Painting? Yeah, but uh -huh. I couldn't get enough canvas and paint. I somehow heard that you even painted on your mother's dresses. Uh, no, that's true, that's true. I used to paint like flowers and pineapples and birds and bees and things like those on my mother's dress. Did she get upset? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> While I decided to change to the wood because there was a lot of wood around and it's much, much easier to get the wood uh -huh. than the paint and the canvas. And what's your favorite? My favorite is cedar. If you cedar. Look it. And why is cedar your favorite? Well, it's much easier to work on. The grains are much easier to carve. You have a sense of humor about you when you're doing your art, don't you? Yes, yes, you have to have that. What made you think to do this? Well, um, we, I, I was thinking about making a chair. And I mm -hmm. said, well, I would, I would make an arm chair. And it, so, I, so I think about arm, I say, well, I use my hand. Oh, it feels and this, good. This is done from um, the guango. It's a, another hard wood that we have around here. Uh huh. So this is a coffee table. Yes. Actually, this is one of my favorite pieces. Uh huh. Yeah. You notice the grape vine is here. And right. The grape, yeah. And a basket of flowers. And these are driftwood. So you just go out and you get the driftwood yeah, yourself. Yeah, we go by the sea or by the river. You uh -huh. get driftwood. Isn't it true that Jamaica means wooden water from the Arawak Indians? Yes, yes, the Arawak Indian was the first people in Jamaica. So you combined woods. Right. If you notice the driftwood are in different shape. You see the driftwood actually talk oh. because you can see what you want in it. It actually shape, you know, some shape like a dog, some right. shape like a fowl, some shape like a goat. So, you know, they are saying something. This is a, a little child's chair. And it's done from one piece of wood? One piece of wood, yes. Oh. Children love to throw things around, but when you make it from one piece of wood, it's you know, sturdy. sturdy. Now, speaking of kids, you have young people here, uh, not little kids, but young people who you are teaching how to... Uh, I'm teaching them to do sculpture. What you do, yeah, right? Yeah, what I do. Well, Gilbert, you made your own tools in the own beginning? tools, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. And what are your tools called? This is a V-tool. As you know, it gives you this V-shape, a V-cut shape. This is a gouge, ah. a kind of cut, okay? Your artwork is shown here around Jamaica, right? Yes. And yes. people are buying it? I actually have shoe at my studio here. Ah. Yes. I 
have to ask you about this. Oh, yes. But wait a minute. Not only do I ask you about it, I have to sit over here. Okay. <clears throat> don't lean on. Okay, look, I'm going to take my shoes off because oh, I don't want right. to put my shoes on it. Okay. You can use this as a bed and you can use it as a chair. You actually get a functional piece. That's right. And a piece of work of art. Gilbert. I would say that this piece is fit for either a king or a queen. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> now let me ask you, um, is there any art that I might be able to buy today? Sure, sure. There are a lot of pieces. I, I, I'm sure there's one piece there or some pieces there that you would love. Well, um, this one's rather elegant, but I don't think it'll fit into my suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have to find something else. Okay, oh, you'll find something. I certainly will. Yeah. Gilbert, thank you so much. Oh, this has welcome. been a lot of fun. I'm gonna lounge a little bit in here. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Next, a trip into the past and the future at Walker's Wood. To find out more about the segments featured on today's show, visit our website at bsmithwithstyle.com. Bromley Great House, the main residence of a 200-year-old Jamaican plantation, is home to Walker's Wood Caribbean Foods. They make one of Jamaica's most flavorful products, jerk seasoning. Our host is Johnny McFarland, the director of group development. Hi, Johnny. Tell me a little bit about Bromley. We're here on the veranda, and it's a very elegant, uh, old building. Tell me about that and the, f the owners. Bromley is what is referred to as a good great house. The whole history of the Bromley Great House has been one of very strong, deep-rooted community involvement. The Edwards family, the present mm -hmm. owners, grew up here. They've owned it for over 100 years, and it has been a place that has played a very significant role in the development of the Walkers with community. They have provided land to employees and uh, the company was started in 1974 and the idea was that we'd have an organization which would provide employment for people of the village of Walkerswood. We also offer shares to the workers in our factory and from that time until now we have uh, been able to achieve employee ownership we total about 60 people and they're all shareholders. And you're buying produce from the community? We have about a hundred different farmers who we buy from, even five pound quantities. A small farmer could come with just five pounds. That's yeah. great. We are committed to the small farmers and, you know, as we say, when our products go abroad, mm -hmm. it's not just walkers, but it's Jamaica that we're exporting. I keep asking all over the island, what does jerk mean? We believe that when Jamaica mm -hmm. was a Spanish colony, that it was a process by which um, they cooked and seasoned mostly wild boar. But actually, it's the cooking of it that is the jerk process, That's isn't it? That's correct. They use pimento chips from the pimento tree and even the leaves to smoke it. The leaves add a wonderful um, aroma. In the States, when we talk about pimentos, we talk about pepper. But here, you've got a pimento tree that yes. is actually allspice. That's correct. Allspice grows on the Bromley property. It's a key ingredient to our jerk seasoning. Aha, uh -huh. one of the secrets, isn't one it? One of the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll tell me about the others? I will. The, the main ingredient is uh, scallion, Jamaican version of your green onion. It's a much more pungent and flavorful product. And then we have scotch bonnet peppers. They're lethal. They're very hot. Yes. But they're very flavorful. They're not just a really blow your head off sort of pepper. And then of course our secret ingredient, mm -hmm. our pimento. We use in fact a lot more than most of the other jerk seasoning companies do. We mix this actually with nutmeg and then we use thyme. The only ingredient that we use in our jerk seasoning which is imported is black pepper. And we're trying to encourage a number of farmers to start growing it for us because we use a lot of it but our jerk seasoning is probably 98% totally Jamaican. I'd say Walker's Wood has it going on. You're an employee-owned company, the product is great. You're here at this wonderful location with an impeccable reputation in Jamaica as a good, great house here at Bromley. Well, B, thank you very much. We're so glad you came. You're welcome to come back anytime to see us, and, and please keep that in mind. 
I'll be back. Get ready for Shirley Ralph and Jamaican Jerk Chicken when we return. I'm at the Jamaica Inn on the island of Jamaica where the days are sunny and the nights are sensual. Well, that includes the crickets and maybe the sizzle of a fire. Tonight I'm going to be grilling jerk chicken with my girlfriend, Shirley Ralph. Oh, Hi, Shirley. Oh, hello. How Ooh. are you? I'm fabulous and you look great. Look at you. Thank you. Perfect for Jamaica. Well, this is your island. Oh, yes it is, this baby. Is, yeah, I the, love it. Too. Oh, you're from Jamaica and they love you here, too. Oh, thank you. I first met you when you were doing Dream Girls on Broadway. Mm -hmm. That's right. To me, you'll always be a dream girl. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, this is one of our favorite dishes. Mm -hmm. I love jerk chicken. It's one of the things that I really make an awful lot in my home. People know that if they're invited, they'll probably get some chicken and it'll probably be jerk. Mm, and it'll taste great too, oh, right? Yes, yes, yes. Well, let's just talk about jerk because okay. I've been using jerk sauce, love it. Okay. And let's talk about some of the ingredients that go into okay. it. Okay, well, you know, we all need thyme. Oh, thyme, mm -hmm. on our side. <laughs> oh, and it smells so good too. Mm, it I does. love it. And you buy it, you know, by the whole bundle in the marketplace. Right. These, you know, we call them scotch bonnet here, mm -hmm. but you know, in Mexico, California, they're also known as habanero. Narrow peppers. Very, very hot. Ooh, they are hot. Right. Hot, hot. <sighs> and of course, the scallion, pimento leaves, and pimento. Right. Or allspice, kind of. Yeah. Right. You know what we can do? We can take some of this pimento leaf and we can put it right on the grill just to add a little extra, you know, flavor, flavor and spice to it. Now, they will catch a fire, but it's nothing bad. It's all good to add to the seasoning <laughs> of the finished product. Now, we have a few, uh, some chicken cooking, but mm -hmm. we're going to use jarred Jamaican jerk sauce. You know, I went up to Walker's Woods and huh? spent a little time with Johnny McFarlane. Mm -hmm. They're doing some great things. Oh, it's a really a wonderful line. They line. represent Jamaica. Very well, too. They do it, yes, in a good <laughs> way. We're going to cheat tonight. We're going to add a little bit of rum, because we are in Jamaica, right? And it's Appleton, and that's some of the best oh. red rum that you can ever taste. Only the best, because mm -hmm. you're here. Thank you. All right, oh just a my, little bit, a not little too something much. something new, okay. Just gives it a little kick. Now, I'm going to brush the chicken while you tell me about the festival. Okay. Because that is something that is truly Jamaican, isn't this it? This is truly Jamaican. It's flour mm -hmm. with some cornmeal, some sugar, and baking powder. Mix all of that up. Drop it in the frying pan, and you have got something that is truly Jamaican and special. Well, and plus, it tastes so good. Let's put it on the grill and let it heat up heat over up. there. Heat up, yes. Alrighty. But I want to talk about this mm -hmm. hot project you have. Ah, uh, thank you. The Jamaican Film and Music Festival. That's right. Taking place right here in Jamaica in beautiful Montego Bay. And this is going to be an evergreen. It's going to happen right. year after year after year. Year after year, I want all those people to get on air Jamaica, sit down, make themselves comfortable, fly here to Jamaica to eat jerk chicken and drink red rum mm. and have a fabulous time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put these on. Now oh, let's... this looks great. Yeah. A nice pineapple salad. That's right. great. I love adding pineapple to vegetable brochette. Let's talk about your career uh -huh. because you have had a wonderful career. Theater, mm -hmm. television, mm -hmm. movies. Mm -hmm. You're a producer. Mm -hmm. What do you like most? I love doing Moesha every week. I love that. I, owe, I have dreams and aspiration of going back to Broadway. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, but I love producing. Yes. I love writing and producing. There's something wonderful about getting people together to share your vision and having that passion to see that vision come to life. I love that. And you can cook too. <laughs> well, thank you, and I this, love to cook. This is really looking it's wonderful. It's really looking and wonderful. I think we're about ready to pull this off the grill. Oh, the oh. smells are just so good. Look at that. Now that is beautiful. This has been really wonderful. I've had a good time, and I'm looking forward to sitting down with you and helping you eat this. Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, mm. thank you. Now let's fun. eat. OK. That's our show from Jamaica. Thanks for watching. And remember, whatever you do, just do it with style.